Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Tonight, or late this afternoon is what time it is now, uh, we're going to fix some supper. And while I'm fixing supper, I might as well fix enough for eight servings. So two of them we'll have tonight, and six of them will be frozen for some time later on. So what we're having is chicken tenders, and these are about three ounces each. We're also having some uh, sirloin burgers, and I cut those in half to equal out about three ounces each. So we got four servings here and four servings here. And the other thing I'm gonna fix, and I'm steaming this rather than stir frying it, I'm doing the oriental vegetables. This is that great big bag you can get at Walmart of the bird's eye oriental vegetables, and it comes with a little sauce, uh, stir fry sauce with it, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in there, but right now I'm steaming them. I'll show you. They're not quite steaming yet in this pot. So I'm looking for eight servings of that, so I dumped out half the bag. All right, so we're letting our skillets get hot. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, chicken and the little sirloin burgers all at the same time of course in two different pans. Oh, while well, that's getting hot, let me tell you this. So the other thing I did, and this took probably a good 20 minutes, uh, we have a whole bunch of the butternut squash in the garage. Not a whole bunch, we got about four left, but I cut up the biggest one I could find, cut it in cubes, and sprinkled a little bit of dill wheat on it, and a little bit of salt and oil, and that's baking in the oven, along with some onions and I put the spice on the onions. I'm also going to put this on the chicken. Now I can use this because it really doesn't have black pepper, it's got red pepper. That's why I get this kind. All right, can you all see that? Nolan's Cajun, that's what it is. All right, so my pans are sort of hot. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken in the back skillet. These are those little non-stick skillets. Oh, can you all see? Let me turn you around there. Yeah, that skillet's hot enough. So I've got actually five of these, so one of them I'll just kind of divide up amongst the other four. Alright, so we're just going to let those cook. Let me set that aside. And I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle them a little bit with this spice. Yeah, we love this uh, New Orleans Cajun spice. It's got garlic, red pepper, and all kinds of things in it. it looks, it's real good on a steak, too, although I kind of like the taste of the steak on its own without any kind of seasoning. Okay, these are so warm burgers. They're on sale, and we're going to fix those and eat uh, one serving. is half of one of these, or see, it was like that. And I just cut them in two because that equals about three ounces. And we'll have to put my splash guard on here, along with a paper towel, just slightly warm. And the chicken doesn't cost as much as the, the hamburger doesn't have that much. Well, the sirloin doesn't have that much uh, fat in it. All right, and so what we're going to do is we'll have. Two of these servings for supper, and I've got out six of these little containers. These are just regular freezer containers that size, and so six of the meals will go in here in our freeze. Then when we get ready to have them for a meal, I can either put them in the microwave. Well, that's the only thing I do is put them in the microwave, and uh, probably add a little salad to it and some bread, and we've got a meal. All right, so we're going to finish frying these and get these all done, and we'll be back. All right, our meat is pretty well done. I've gone ahead and cut the bun off. I'm going to put a little teriyaki on each piece, nice and brown. And the chicken is almost ready, too. So it's browned on both sides. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon on each little piece. I just like lemon on chicken really well. 
Alright, so we're going to have that chicken cook just a little bit longer. I'm going to go ahead and take this off the burner and take it out. And when the uh, butternut squash gets done and the onion and our vegetables get through steaming, we'll be back and I'll show you how to put this all together. Be back. All right, we've got everything cooked now, and I've actually put the food on the plate for our supper. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll give you a close-up in a minute. All right, and so here are the butternut squash that were cubed up. That's what took the longest time was cutting all the butternut squash up. The onions are going to go on the uh, sirloin patties, and the these are the uh, little... Uh, stir-fried vegetables. So let me take this off and show you a close-up. All right, there's a close-up. Now I found some bear claws, two of them, in the freezer left over from uh, Christmas since I'm getting ready to defrost my freezer. I was kind of going through it and I found these two, so that works out good for our bread. And we don't have any problem having sweet rolls as uh, the bread for a meal. In fact, I really like that. So we've got uh, baby organic spinach and apples. Whoops, that's a thing from a pepper, I think. Uh, anyway, uh, the, uh, these are Granny Smith apples that were soaked in raspberry pomegranate dressing. And I just put that over top of the organic baby spinach. Here is the uh, butternut squash and of course the stir-fry vegetables that I steamed. Here's the half patty of the sirloin burger with the onions and of course the bear claw which this is a really big one, but, you know. All right, and there's my plate. And uh, Mr. Bucky came in and fixed our tea. And I've got some bread rising here because I'm going to fix a couple of loaves. This is uh, just like an Italian bread is what this is like. So there are the onions that I'll be putting on the burger. In fact, I might put some more on our plate. They were baked, as were the uh, butternut squash. There's the chicken and the burgers and the steamed vegetables. So we'll be putting all of those in these containers. So we'll be back when we get through eating our supper and these things have cooled down a little bit. We'll be back. All right, we have finished with our supper and I've got all of the meals in the little freezer containers. And by the way, these little containers are called tagalongs and uh, I just got them at Walmart several years ago and I reuse them. They, uh, also work in the microwave. I mean, we don't put something in the microwave and put it on blast and high. We just put it on defrost, and then after it, everything defrost, we just warm it up a little bit more. Anyway, here's what they look like. Now, what we will do with these meals is the same thing I did tonight uh, when I served one serving each of the beef. Uh, I had a salad with it, and we had happened to have some of the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, some of the uh, bear claws. I found a couple of them in the freezer that was left over from Christmas, which was good, and so that served as our bread. So all I'm going to do is put the lids on these. I already labeled them, and just snap them down. I'll show you a close up. That's what the chicken and butternut squash and the mixed vegetables. And so when you serve this, make a little salad and serve either some bread or rice. It's, it makes a complete meal. All right, let me finish putting the lids on these and we'll be right back. I wanted to show you how these kind of snap shut. They're kind of hard sometimes to push down, but they seal really, really well. So I've got them all labeled now. There, that one snapped that one. All right, and there you have it. These will go in the freezer. Now I'm going to also go ahead and fix this bread, which really had nothing to do with my uh, dinners that I was making. I'm going to poke it down. I'm going to make about two loaves of bread, like that artisan bread that's just round, and uh, then we'll have some of that this week and we'll freeze some of it. Okay, y'all, so how does this work when you freeze the meals like this? Now, if you were uh, cooking meals for, like, say, four people, uh, I don't know, you might want to freeze it all in one big container. That might be easier. But uh, it works out really well for two people, and especially when you get busy doing other stuff, 
or when you don't want to cook normally years ago, I'd say, well, let's go out to eat. But I don't do that anymore. And I, I do think these are better than TV dinners, okay, or those little, y'all know the, all those kind of dinners you can buy at the, the uh, grocery store. And of course, this is much cheaper. And you save a lot of time because you're cooking it at the same time you're cooking a meal. So in my case, I was cooking for eight people tonight. That's the way it was. So it worked out really well. See y'all next time.